I'm Caroline with Massey Ferguson Across America. This summer we are hitting the road to find owners of Massey Ferguson tractors to see what these machines are capable of and how they help farmers get their jobs done. I'm here in Burley, Idaho with Cliff Searle and we're in front of the Massey Ferguson 8680 and Cliff tell me how many acres do you have here? We operate about 5,000 acres. Goodness gracious. And, uh, couple thousand of dry land. Right. And how many crops do you, or what kind of crops do you raise here? Uh, potatoes and sugar beets, uh, alfalfa, corn, silage and grain corn, and uh, some oats, uh, wheat and barley. Wow. And out of all of those, do you have a favorite? They're all fun. They're all fun. <laughs> And I noticed, you know, this Massey Ferguson, we, I rode around the some today with your nephew. Um, what would you say your favorite thing is about Massey Ferguson from a brand standpoint? Uh, they've been good to us and loyal and, and we've had good luck with them and our dealer is very, uh, takes care of us very well and so we, we've always, as long as I can remember, we've ran Massey's and we continue we think we'll continue to run Massey's as right. long as we're happy and that I think that we have a good working relationship right how long ago did you get into farming uh, uh, ever since I can remember <laughs> it's been a long time as a kid I just uh, dad farmed and I just always have followed him around and uh, so about 1979 is when I started full-time, graduated from high school and come back full-time on the farm with the, the brothers. There's five of us brothers and dad who are involved with the operation. Uh huh. And what would you say your favorite thing is about farming? Uh, independence and the diversity and uh, being outside and with nature. I'm here in Burley, Idaho with Chad Searles and we are on the Massey Ferguson 8680. Chad, tell me a little bit about this tractor. Um, I know that you have the GPS in here and what do you like about the GPS? How does it help you with um, the crops on this, on this farm? The GPS allows me to <clears throat> drive the tractor without having to have my hands on the steering wheel while I'm going through the field. That way I can focus on the task at hand, keep an eye on the implement behind me or to be able to jump a wheel line or a pivot or something while I'm working and not have to wait for it to get out of the way. Right, so you don't even have to hold on to the steering wheel. You can just sit there like this and just watch everything. Exactly. That is so cool. So what else about this tractor? Do you like the uh, headland management? Does it help you a lot with the things that you do? It helps me a lot. It leaves my hands a lot more free as I'm turning around on the end. I can push the button and turn around and it takes care of the rest. What all do you have programmed in there? Well, I'll program it to, when I get to the end, I'll make it slow down my transmission and engine speed mm -hmm. and then lift up my implement, whatever I have behind me, as many as I have. And then when I turn around, it'll set it back down and speed everything back up to the same speed that I wanted before. and if I'm running the GPS, it'll turn that back on for me too without having to push any buttons. That's really cool. So it seems like it'd make it a lot easier for you. Yes. Awesome. Well, now, what about this shuttle right here? Do you use it much? Yeah. When I'm going forward to reverse, I just, all I have to do is just pick it up and put it back into reverse and it just very smooth going forward to reverse and mm -hmm. shifting. You can't even feel the transmission shift. It just speeds up and slows down. Right. So are you glad that you don't have to use a lot of clutch uh, operations with this tractor? Yeah, it makes it a lot nicer. All right, so explain to me a little bit in further detail how headland management really works. Well, when you're programming it, there's an auto setup and a manual setup. So I can either, when I get to the end, just push the auto uh -huh. and take care of the stuff I would normally do, slow it down and everything by myself and lift it up and it will just record that and then it remembers it in there and if there's anything I need to edit a little bit of timing I can just put that in there and it's set for me or I can go in and do it manually and just set what things I want it to do. It's 
Very simple. So that little computer remembers all of that stuff. Yes. That's incredible. Thanks for watching. Catch us next time as we hit the road with Massey Ferguson across America.